Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture 2010 CAD clip. We're talking about scheduling of the door swing designation. I've just cut and pasted an image on here uh, to demonstrate uh, or illustrate what we're talking about. We've got out swings, we've got in swings, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. What we want to do is schedule that left hand and right hand um, designation in our door schedule. Okay, so down inside of here I've got a wall with some doors. We can click on a door and we can flip the door this way, okay, but as far as I understand, I, uh, there's no way that you can coordinate this flipping control with the actual schedule. So this is going to be a manual process. Even though you can flip these around, that's going to be not connected to the fact that I'm going to click on this door, I'm going to go to the properties and say whether it's a left hand or right hand. So it's going to be a manual process of adding in that property to the door, but it will schedule. So there, you know, if someone decides to go in and start flipping doors around without manually correlating that with the property, then you're going to end up with the incorrect information. So this is kind of a, I would say a 90% solution. Um, so it would be nice if you could flip these and then it would just absolutely put that in the schedule and I'm not sure how to do that. So we'll do it um, to the best we can. So the first thing we're going to do here is under manage, we're going to go into shared parameters and create a new shared parameter. So we click on our shared parameters and it opens up. We can go and create a new shared parameter file. We can browse to an existing shared parameter file. Okay, once we have one created, it's just a TXT file. If you go into the end here, okay. And from here, I'm going to start by creating a new group. And the new group in my shared parameter file is going to be called door info. You might already have a group created for door information. And then we can create the new shared parameter in here by saying, you know, swing. It's um, going to be under common discipline and it's just a text field, that's all. Hit OK, hit OK, and that's done. We have our shared parameter and our shared parameter file. So now what we want to do is go open up this door family and add that shared parameter. This is an out of the box door family. I'm going to go in and edit that, open up that door. Once we get inside of that door family, it doesn't really matter what view we're in when we go in here because we're not worried about the view itself. All I'm going to do is go into the types dialog box inside of here and inside of here I'm going to say add a new parameter okay shared parameter and select that shared parameter that I just created hit OK group it under other here I could group it under graphics I suppose or you know construction or constraints I'll just group it under other do I want it to be an instance do I want to be able to change it on each individual door do I want it type specific I'm gonna go instance hit OK hit apply hit OK now I have that parameter connected here as a shared parameter back to my shared parameter file so now all I have to do is take this and say load that into the project I will overwrite the existing version of that door Okay, and now what happens is I can pick on that door and I can change that designation. And because it's a shared parameter, the key is it's shared because I want to schedule the information. So now I can click on this door and I can go to the instance properties of that door and down here under other it says swing and I can click in here and say this is left hand. Hit OK. Done. Now I can click on this guy, go into the instance properties of that door and say you are a right hand hit OK. Now let's say I have another door down here. Now that I have those in because they're text fields, let's just add a new door. The same door type, picking on here. Okay, This is going to be a left hand coming from this side. So now if I click on here and I go to the instance properties, I'll be able to just click on here and, and see those previous fields. Left hand. Hit OK. Done. Now the scheduling part. So we go in and say OK. View. I want to create a schedule of quantities. Inside of there I want it to be a door schedule and I can change this to be what say whatever I want. Hit OK. And now because I've done that I can say, you know, the door, you know, height, double clicking, the door width, and guess what? Door swing. Boom. Okay? Hit OK. There's my door schedule. There's my door swing. Now I can take that schedule from here 
and drag it onto my sheet. So that's how you uh, go through the process of adding door swing designations to the door and then following it through to the schedule. Once again, if someone goes through and starts flipping these around and doesn't follow through by going in here and changing this door swing, you will end up with an incorrect schedule. So we have to be aware of that, but as long as you're uh, due diligent with this, then your schedule over here is always going to be accurate.